Hello guys, Armian here, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Engineer's Life series. Today, we are moving. That's right, pack your bags, we're moving underground. Better life underground. And we're gonna also be working on our biodiesel production as well as steel production. So let's go ahead, let's jump right into it, guys. So before we get started with today's episode, guys, I just want to show you that I actually pretty much finished this entire area now. So that is pretty awesome. Let me just kind of show you around here. I already seen like the bridges and stuff, but I went ahead. I added in a bunch of water going underneath them as well as some water wheels. Now they are stationed pretty much all over the place here. I have some smaller bridges here right by them. As you can see, and I also went ahead, I mob proofed the whole area as well. I don't think any mobs can spawn here anymore. I did have a problem with the Enderman while building this thing though. Like, he kept like showing up and stealing my blocks, so hopefully we don't have to deal with that anymore, but we will see. He did like, he like spawned over here and started like stealing my blocks, but anyway, hopefully he'll be gone forever now. We will see. But yeah, we got all the paths going around here, and this is where the spawner is over here. The zombie spawner. And I actually went ahead, I kind of started working on it a bit. Let me show you over here. I have a way up here temporarily for the time being. But yeah, right over here is this spawner. And then right over there is that one. If I stand right on this block here that's spammed with torches, then both spawners will be active. And then I just have a thing here for them to come up and drop down here, and this will be the killing chamber. Now this is a bit temporary for the time being, I'm definitely going to change it up later, and I haven't quite finished it in here, I just need to add all the water and stuff like that right now, then it'll be all done. But yeah, finish this area now. And I also went ahead, and I started moving my machines down here. I want to put them all, all over here, but I'm going to design a room later on down the road at some point. But I kind of started throwing them all in here, and I switched to like high voltage cables as well. But yeah, today I want to work on our machines here. I want to start automating the diesel production is the plan for today. And for that there, what we're going to need to do is we need this thing here. I believe this is for like growing crops, stuff like that. You need to give it water though, which I think is where we're gonna need this pump here, the pump the water into this machine is the plan. And then um, I think you can upgrade this as well. I'm pretty sure you can get upgrades for this thing to make it faster. I could be wrong though. But yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna set those up. We're gonna have one growing, hopefully we can grow hemp. If not, we can do wheat. And then feed seeds into that, and then another one for like potatoes is the plan. So let's go ahead. I need to start building these things. They're not too expensive, thankfully. Pretty easy to make. We have like a ton of these laying around. But yeah, that should be easy. This here I didn't really look at though. Okay, that's also really easy. And it's not even steel too, that's nice. There's another reason why we need the biodiesel though. Our, um... Uh, the arc furnace needs a lot of power and I have not been making a whole lot of steel since I tore down the blast furnace So we need to get this fuel situation um, Fixed up there. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's start crafting stuff guys Alright, I got everything together now. I think we're ready to get this set up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up the pump. So for the pump, I think we need to probably have an infinite source of water. So I'll go ahead, I guess I'll just throw it right here. Why not? That's right, Muncher, you eat everything up. Perfect. And just like that. Now, I think what I gotta do, I'll just place it right here, because I did, like, place it down. It has, like, a hole thing below. I think you place it like that. I will bring this over here. Just like this here, so that way we can just drop something down on top, just like we did here. And we hopefully won't get zapped as much. 
I say as I get zapped. Okay, 10 out of 10. And yeah, these, these cables, they hurt a lot. I will definitely end up dying at some point due to these cables. I know it. Yeah, let's get this hooked up. So this goes right here. And we just need one of these right up there, just like that. And perfect. We're good to go. We are in business. So I'm assuming that is all good. Yeah, there's no interface. I'm assuming that'll suck that up. We just got to hook it up to these things here. The garden things. So I think what I'll do is I'll put one right here and the other one right about there. That'll be good. And I hope I have enough pipes. I made a few. I hope I have enough though. Let's get rid of that. I'll just hopefully be able to just do that and connect this one here as well. And I think the last thing we need to do... It's not really filling up, is it? Huh. Alright, I think I got it figured it out. I'm missing one simple thing. Can you guess what it is? That's right, a lever. Exactly. Big brain. Forgot about levers. Yeah, this just goes here apparently and then it'll start pumping. Yeah, there we go. The water's all filling up. Awesome. So now we just need our seeds, which I probably should have brought over here, but I have a really small brain apparently. And... Ooh, fertilizer amount. So we can get like fertilizers and stuff? I'm guessing that goes right here? Alright, cool. And then seeds probably there and that's the... Uh, where the stuff goes, I guess? So, I think what I'm gonna do right now, before I go grab our seeds... Oh! Don't fall in there. Let's quickly throw together some things with these here. I'm assuming I'm gonna need these to fill it up, right? This here's gotta go this way, and then right in there, I hope this works. I don't know if I'm gonna need like something like this here on the side. Come on, get off there. There we go. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, so maybe that'll work? Let's see. Do I have anything to test that might actually go in here? I don't think so. I'll just throw some stone on and see what happens. There we go, it puts the stone in. Perfect. Exactly what I need. Now what if the stone is in here? Okay, I can't put the stone in the inventory. That makes sense. But yeah, hopefully that'll output right here and that'll just go right in there. So let's go ahead and do that on the other side. So I went ahead and just threw some stuff in here to see what would happen. It looks like it's working. This here's slowly going down, so I don't know what this means. I'm guessing there is fertilizer here. I probably have to add that, which means I need dung. I can't remember how you get dung. I think I... Actually, I think I might. I believe it was from dogs, right? I believe you got that from dogs. So we're going to have to go find some wolves here eventually so we can get like fertilizer, but I don't know. I'm going to wait. I'm going to see what happens when this runs out. And another thing we have to do for this one here, we need to sort out the hemp. Because hemp shouldn't be going in here. So we need something to just like drop the hemp down here. So we need some kind of a filter. I'm going to have to sit up. As for over here, I might need one for poisonous potatoes. We will see, I guess. Although Muncher's eating everything up right now. Unbelievable Muncher. Give me those potatoes. They ain't for you. They go in here. There we go. Well, I think I called it. I definitely called it. Holy crap. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen eventually. Alright, let me go grab my stuff. Let it be known, I did not die once or I died twice. Because apparently, I didn't realize this, you have to shift on your grave to get your stuff back. So, that's nice. But yeah, got two levels from the 66 I have. That's fine, we kind of have an XP farm here, at least we will soon. What? I only got one head from that? Where'd my other head go? No! Oh, there it is. Perfect, I got two new heads. Awesome. Yeah, everything's going well. We just need a filter now. Oh, that really goes through the potatoes. Um, how's it going through the seeds over here then? Yeah, it's going through those pretty quickly too. Alright, we'll probably want to set up like a lot more of these things then. Alright, cool. So maybe what we'll do is I'll kind of keep this like this, but I'll have like, maybe I'll make a rim going this way and have these like along the sides and stuff. 
like just a bunch of them to hopefully keep up with the demand I need for biodiesel. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead, I finished it all up. We are now producing enough hemp and um, potatoes to keep up with this here now. I actually let it run for a little while and now we're just completely full of everything. We have a lot of backlog here. I also went ahead and got industrial hemp seeds. And let me tell you guys, do not bother getting those. As nice as they are, as good as they are, they provide like a lot more like millibuckets and stuff of seed oil or whatever here, but let me tell you, I wanted to try and get like a little bit of video evidence, I guess, of me getting some of this stuff. So I tried to get a second seed and yeah, like an hour later, no seed. So yeah, don't bother hitting grass for this stuff. I also looked at villages because of an obscure uh, Reddit post I read saying you can probably get it at villages. Couldn't find any in any villages either, so don't bother going for those seeds. They're definitely not worth it. Just make like more of these plant things. I am really lucky that I even got one of these seeds. Like seriously. But yeah, here is the sorting machine thing. So I'm sure you've seen a lot of these in the past. Just that, the text, if there's a certain amount in here, it goes up to... This is usually at 41. If it goes above 41, it lets an item through basically. And then it goes down into this chest. I tried using wheat seeds and hoped that wheat seeds would drop like extra seeds, but that was not the case, so I switched back. But yeah, I have another sorty thing here, again, at 41, once it goes to 42, lets an item through, and that just goes into lava, as you can hear. It dumps it all in lava. And that's how that works. So now we are ready to, I guess, move everything down. So we'll get the arc furnace down here and everything else we have up there. And we'll see if it, this generator can keep up with everything. Everything is officially hooked up down here. No more machines are up there except for two really small ones, but eh, we'll get them down here eventually. They're not part of the immersive engineering, so I didn't bother bringing them down quite yet. I wanted to see how this thing would run. And I already put a stack of iron in, and it's already done. It was not in there long. But, uh, let me just show you here. We do not produce enough power quite yet. Holy crap. It requires a lot of power, so we might need to get a second one of these at some point. And we're probably going to have to expand this. But to get another one of these, we need a lot more iron and steel and stuff. So to get iron and steel, what I think we're going to have to do is, well, one, I need a better uh, coke oven. So that way we can produce more like coal coke and get the coke to actually make the steel and stuff. You put the coke dust in here, you get steel. We need more of that stuff. I don't quite have enough... Uh, Stuff to be able to make a lot of steel real quickly, so we're going to have to work on that next. So we need a better coal coke oven. So if we go over here, there is one. I think it basically behaves as like, uh, let's see, where is it at? Uh, there we go. So advanced coke oven. We can do this. I think it's basically the exact same thing as this. It looks like it has like preheaters as well and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead, I guess we'll get started on this. Seems to be easy-ish. We should be able to make it. Now what did we need for just the oven? How do you upgrade this stuff? Steel plating on coke brick, okay. And steel sheet metal, alright. We should be able to do that. I think I actually have enough plates just like lying around to do that. So we'll go ahead, we'll get started on making an advanced coke oven so that way we can hopefully keep up a little more with like coke and stuff like that. Then I guess we'll have it so it just automatically goes in here maybe? Sure.
All right, you know how I said that seed thing was really hard to find? Well, as it turns out, you get the seeds by gathering or the breaking tall grass. I was uh, breaking the smaller grass, so yeah, might be a little bit easier to find than I thought. Just, uh, you know, follow instructions. Don't be like Iron Man. Read the instructions and things will be easier. Don't spend hours breaking small grass like I did. But anyway, the advanced coke oven here is completed. I have it so that way it basically just outputs the coke dust and it just, or the coke, and then it goes here and gets ground up in the coke dust. That is pretty awesome. I think what I'm gonna do here, since I've been using this to crush up the coal as well, I think I should like do a auto sorty thing here that bring the coal out and maybe put it up in the here automatically would be a good idea. Because I think this is all I'm gonna really use coal for, to be honest. But yeah, I also went ahead, I'm throwing the creosote oil in here, and I'll probably end up using this to make like my torches and stuff like that. I noticed that's one thing you can do with creosote oil. I'll probably do that. Yeah, it's all set up now, all good to go. Now we can start with steel production as well, which will be nice. I just need to like input it up through there, maybe that'll work, I don't know. Or I could just throw it in manually for the time being. Well, we got quite a bit done today, guys. We got this all set up so we can produce just enough for the diesel generator here. Got our coke oven up, and we're pretty much ready to start making more steel. Which means uh, we can make another one of these since we need a little more power. But yeah, I think that'll be it for today, guys. In the next episode, or maybe not, we'll we'll have to see. I think it might be a good idea if I start working on an actual room for this stuff. Because it is a little bit sketchy running around, constantly being zapped by wires and stuff like that. Sadly, the high voltage stuff does not have insulated cables, so... I think it'd be a good idea to make a room for this and a better place to hide that kind of stuff. So maybe we'll do that next time, but we will see. But yeah, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I noticed a lot more people recently have been subscribing over the last little bit, so thank you very much for that. Glad you guys are enjoying, and I hope you stick around for more modded Minecraft and stuff like that in the future. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today, so thank you so much for watching. If you're new, well, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, all that great stuff, and I will see you guys again in the next episode. Until then, have a great week, guys.